I kind of retired on a whim. Um, it was, it's been in my mind for a while. So, I mean, once, once it's in your mind as a competitor, especially at the, highest, at the highest level, it starts eating at you, like, little by little, little by little, little by little. And, you know, we've, we have thought of things that we're going to do. So, yeah. like, I'm excited for the future. I hope you guys are excited for the future. When I tell you guys that I woke up today, like, and, and even the past couple of days, just feeling so not stressed. People don't understand how stressful it is. I mean, look at your body language. You're crossed arms. Like, People up, do not understand how stressful it is to be, like, especially in the CDL. Like, people would say that I was an exception because they said that I was always safe and I always had my spot on the team and, you know, whatever people wanted to say. But, I mean, even then, it's really not true because if you fall in a, in a pit of performance that's bad enough, like, you don't, des- you don't deserve your spot and you know you don't deserve your spot. I feel you. So I'm, I'm not yeah. going to sit there and, and act like I would have deserved my spot. That didn't happen, thankfully. Yeah. And that's why I kind of went out the way I did because I didn't want that to happen. Yeah. But it's a very, very, very stressful thing. And, you know, I just respect to, to all the players out there and – for us to watch and be able to watch, you know, it's, it's going to be weird, but just respect. I mean, the whole way through. Every player in the CDL, every past player, I mean, the shit is stressful. More so than, well, now more so than back then because now there's only 12 teams. Yeah.